Hi, and welcome to episode 6 of Ironmonger's occasional and irreverent vlog. I'm going to call this, um, I guess, Unboxing Day. Um, basically, uh, I got home and what was, uh, what was awaiting me but a large, jangly sounding box. Um, I have been waiting for the Galleon, and I'm assuming that this is the War Machine uh, Colossal for the Mercenaries, the Galleon. So... I'm going to open it up, I'm going to uh, make sure it's the Galleon, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to try to, to show you some of the pieces close up on the camera and give some impressions of the model and, and kind of the rules maybe a little bit. I don't really need a lot of impressions of the rules because we know what the rules are. The rules are, are awesome, right? And that's why I'm so excited. So, Oh my god, it's the Galleon! The Galleon there, this is a heavy piece of kit right here. Wow, look at that. That's a, uh, yeah, that's quite a heavy, hopefully we can get a little bit of a close up. You can kind of see what it looks like there. I'll get a better close up uh, as we go on. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and, and open it up here. Trusty hobby knife. Open her on up and make sure that we got all the pieces. And that uh, yeah, it's very well packed. So despite the tumble earlier, it doesn't look like it it took that much uh, abuse. Yet, I'm sure it'll take plenty of abuse at the hands of our Retribution of Syrah and pirate, pirate um, players. So, first thing I see, well, the first thing I see is uh, there's a, a metal blister, just the, your standard privateer press, kind of like a small infantry blister, um, filled with metal bits, looks like some chains, the broadside cannon, so forth and so on. Um, we've got a... Um, kind of a separation here between the blister section and between just like loose resin pieces. This is a big resin piece. This is the essentially the body of the, um, how's that going to go? It's going to go like that. This is essentially the, uh, the body of the galleon. Um, that's a large body. I don't know if you can see it. It's, uh, yeah, against some of the uh, dystopian war miniatures I have. It's actually, I'd say larger than any of them, just the body alone. Now we've got a few other big resin pieces. Look, not the worst for wear. We've got the, the big shoulders. Um, we've got uh, we've got the steam stacks here. And I'm assuming this is the crane arm. The crane arm, interestingly enough, is, is cast in resin. It's a pretty hard, like, plasticized resin. Um, instead of metal. All right, and then we've got the kind of standard uh, unit pack uh, clamshell that uh, we're pretty used to seeing. Geez, just so many pieces. I'm gonna have to go to the close cam to be able to really show them to you effectively. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I have instructions for assembly. The standard base the colossal rec marker i wish they would actually make a rec marker for the colossals but say la vie um the stack cards with all the special rules and everything look at all those damage boxes um and that appears to be it so that's all she wrote for actually opening her on up. I'm going to cut over to uh, a slightly closer camera and we can see uh, some of the detail on the pieces. Here's all the uh, all the bits of the galleon all spread out. Um, I don't have fantastic definition on this camera, but I'll, I'll do my best. Um, oh, there are a ton of pieces, as you can both see here and see in the assembly instructions. I am so happy that they gave me assembly instructions for this beast. Yes, look at that. All right. So, um, 
I'll just hit some of the main obvious points here. Here's all the metal pieces we have. Uh, a lot of them, I don't know what they are. They're greaves, they're pieces of, uh, there's the chain obviously, there's the top of the, uh, the smokestack for the, uh, the boiler apparatus, um, the crown I guess you would say, the chain that goes to the, uh, the giant uh, harpoon gun, the trident, there's the broadsides, there's the guns that actually go along the, uh, the kind of chest of him. There's the, this is ridiculous, look how large, that is huge, that harpoon arm, that thing is massive, there's a little tiny bit of warping, not bad, I can take care of that, absolutely no problem, probably wouldn't even notice it if I didn't bother taking care of it. Some of the other, uh, here's some more metal pieces, um, as I said I don't know exactly what they're for, I'll be finding out pretty soon. Um, I think that a lot of them have to do with the arm the harpoon goes on, so that's going to be a really heavy arm. Here's some more of the chain. These, I don't know how well you can see it, these are all kind of like uh, apparatuses for the chain assembly for the harpoon arm. It's all chains. Uh, there's a little head. There's a little head right there. Compared to the rest of it, it looks pretty small, but uh, pretty decently sized. There's all the rest. There's kind of the torso that goes down to the hips or the pelvis. There's another metal piece that I'm assuming that all of this metal stuff kind of goes to uh, the arm bits. Um, that looks like a uh, that looks like the left shoulder right there. And there's the right shoulder. We got legs and we got the feet. We got whatever that great dirty greasy thing is. It looks like it has to do with. Uh, the big mechanical claw part right here. Um, and then the cards themselves, where it shows you the, uh, the picture, the weapon layout. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the rules for these already. Look at all these rules. Colossal power attacks. Yeah. So, uh, basically when I get all of this, go back for another big shot of it when I get all this assembled it's going to be going on to sorry for the glare this base this is a uh, I think a secret weapons miniature trench base that I am converting just about done painting up the steel head riflemen there are no powders there's no weathering powders or pigments or any anything like that on here yet. Um, eventually, it's just uh, paint, and then uh, I took a piece of uh, pencil, some graphite, went over it. Eventually, areas like this will be filled in with kind of uh, dirty-looking wet effects and this little divot wet effects, and and uh, yeah, I think it's going to look uh, it's going to look pretty decent when it's all wrapped up. So there you have it, unboxing of Privateer Press's brand new Colossal, the Galleon for the mercenary faction of War Machine. Um, I'm probably also going to be get, we've seen the preview for the, uh, well not the preview, we've seen the rules and the model for the, uh, the Mammoth, I'm probably going to be getting that, I'll do another video. Um, until then, see you later.